This is China's Math Olympia 2021 geometry problem. Here we're given ABC triangle, the angle bisector here, and have two points x y on the bisector line here, such that AB x equal AC y. All right, and this angle is bisector. So we try to prove the circumcircle omega one, which is a big circle omega two. They're gonna meet at point P, which is common, and then Q. A, P, Q are collinear. In other words, we want to prove three points on the same straight line. How would you do that? Give it a try, and when you're ready, let's continue. Let's do some initial analysis here. We're given bisector of the angle and another angle pair are the same, then we have immediately similar triangle as marked. In other words, I claim A, B, X is similar to A, C, Y, because angle, angle are the same. So from here, we know that the sides are proportional. In other words, A, B over A, C, the corresponding here would be A, X and versus a y okay that's good so we have this conclusion let's continue now here we need to use the fact that the two circle are circumcircle of, of you know two triangles here right one is bpy one is xpc okay so let's do that let's extend this line here a is angle bisector extend all the way and cut through two circles at either M and N. Now we're gonna look two big triangle claim that they are similar. Okay, so here is a big triangle here. And the other one would be this one. Why is that similar again? We start with you know angle bisector. One pair of angles are congruent and how about the other? How about this one? Let's call it Arva. Now, we're going to introduce or review some property if you have four points on a circle. Okay, so I have a circle here. Okay, if I have a four points, this here, here, yeah, and then here, let's say any four points on the circle. One property is that for the same arc, the angle here this one, and the other angle here, they are congruent, okay? So in this case, Arva, let's look at point B, Y, yeah, P, and N, four points. And then the common arc is B, Y here, right? And then the angle here is the Arva, and the other one must also be Arva. Okay, that's good, let's erase that. So we care about this angles is alpha here, okay? Now, we would like to prove this angle here alpha equal the other angle here, okay? So how to prove that? That's again, go back to four points on a circle. Let's erase that. Another property, if you have the same or up to four points on a circle here, okay? There's a fact that these opposing angles add up to 180 degrees, okay? So if you extend this angle here, because this is complement, you know, this alpha, beta, alpha, beta add up to 180 degrees, this is complement, so this must equal to beta. In other words, the angle here, beta here, the exterior angle equal the opposing interior angles here. All right, that's good. So here, let's look at the another four points on the smaller circle. Okay, so let's mark it out. I have X, I have P, I have C, and I have M. Okay, so this angle interior is equal to the exterior angle alpha. So in other words, this must also be alpha. That's good. So we have two pairs of angles here. One alpha equal to alpha. This one's bisector. So we claim that the bigger triangle is similar. 
Okay, let's write it out. Okay, so here is A, B, N, the big triangle here, is similar to A, C, M. Okay, so let's erase some of the marking here and highlight it. It's a big triangle here. This is the one and this is the other one, right? So these two are similar. And of course, we're going to know that the sides are proportional. AB over AC, in this case, would equal to, the big one would be AN over, the smaller one is going to be AM, AM, right? So that's good. So you have two pair of um, e equality here. Let's combine them, right? So AB over AC equal AX over AY. So from these two, you conclude that AX over AY, yeah, would equal AN over AM, right? So cross product AX times AM would equal AY times AN, okay? What is the meaning of this? Here, we need to know a concept of what is called a power of a point with respect to a circle, okay? So AX, AM is power of the point A with respect to the small circle. So let's highlight it. So you have a circle here, yeah, I'll make a two, okay? And you have point A, you cut it, right? And point X and M, AX times AM is called the power. And again, let's look at the bigger triangle. What do you have? Here, oh, let me erase this. And uh, it's a big circle. I meant to draw the circle here. It's a big circle here, right? And you have point A, you cut through the big circle at Y and N, and this product is called the power. What we are saying is that the point A has equal power with respect to two different circle, and there's a theorem saying that uh, in that case, A has to be nine on the nine of PQ, okay? So the PQ9 must, must, must have uh, the point A on it. And then we're done because we proved that A, P, Q are on the same line because of this. Of course, for those of you who have never heard of the um, point power with respect to a circle, it's okay. Let's go over that. Okay. So here I have a point. I claim that no matter how you cut it, right, with the circle, if you go this way, P, A, P, B, or if you go the other way, P, C, P, D, so actually it's a product equal. So, and then as a matter of fact, it doesn't really matter where they go. It only matters where the position of the P. So the value is equal to P O square. Yeah, here's P O square minus R square. This is tangent nine. So in other words, is equal to P T square. Yeah, what's P T is tangent nine. All right, so there's a quantity. Once point P is fixed, when the circle R is fixed, we know the quantity is a constant. So that's why we define that as the, what is called uh, the power of a point, all right? So that's good. How do we prove this, all right? It's actually using the similar triangle. Let's go over it really quick. So I claim that this angle here and the other, the big triangle that they are similar. Let's erase all the marking to make it clear here. So I have a common angle here. And this angle by earlier says four points on a circle. And your exterior angle is equal to the interior angle that opposing it, right? Would it be this? Okay, so you have two pair of angles equals the two triangle, you know, PAC. Yeah, so PAC is similar to triangle P D, B, okay? So the sides are proportional, which means P, A, yeah, over P, D equal P, C over P, B. 
and then the cross product PA times PB equal PC times PD. Later, you can also use a similar argument to prove that this quantity equal PT square. Okay, so I'm not going to prove it here. You can look it up on the internet afterwards. So another property, now that we know this quantity here only matters where the P is located and how big is the circle, what is the distance here, would determine the quantity. Another theorem we have is that if I have a two circle, yeah, and then I have a P equal distance, you know, equal powers, and then we claim that uh, this must be on a nine, this perpendicular, but with a fixed position, relative position. This has, this position has to be fixed. So how do we show that? Okay, so let's draw a diagram here. So the two circles are fixed. R1 is fixed, R2 is fixed. The distance between them, D, is fixed. I claim that in order to have the equal power, it must have that this edge is a fixed point. So in other words, it doesn't really determine uh, doesn't really matter where p, how far p is. Okay, let's say height is h. Doesn't really matter um, what h value is. So why is that? By definition, the power is p o one square minus r one square equal because we have the equal power. So p o two square minus r two square. Yeah, what is p o square? P o square here is Pythagorean theorem h square plus d one square, right? So the d1 square plus h square. Similarly, PO square is h square plus d2 square, and h square cancels. So what we have is d1 square minus d2 square must equal to r1 square minus r2 square. This is given, this is a constant, right? This is a constant. And here, they add up to d, and d1 plus d2 equal, equal d, that is constant. So we claim that d1 is fixed. You can solve it, you know, and, uh, you know, for example, it's the way you solve it is that uh, the minus is going to be, you know, square. And so D1 is just average of the two. Yeah. Okay. We don't have to go to the details, but what we need to know is that uh, this point P, the height doesn't really matter. What matter is this position edge is fixed, okay? So what if you have intersecting set, uh, circles here? We claim that the, in that case, P must be on the straight line through these two points here. Why? Because we can say this position here satisfies the quantity that if this is um, X, this is Y, yeah, the distance here, you know the x square plus h square equal r1 square, yeah? This is r1. And y square plus h square equal r2 square. If you do the subtraction, you get x square minus y square equal r1 square minus r2 square. In other words, any point, yeah? This is a fixed point, satisfies the equal power to two circles that we derived earlier. So which means as long as p is on this line, we're going to have equal power and vice versa. If P is equal power, then P has to lie on the same straight line of this. You know. So that's what we use to prove the original problem. Again, let's review the proof steps, right? So we have initially similar triangle, yeah? This similar triangle here and this one, and we have the ratio of AX versus uh, AY, yeah? And later we have a bigger triangle, similar here, yeah. And you also have the ratio here versus uh, um, AM, AN. And then you got an equal power, and from the equal power, you know that A must lie in the intersection line, which is PQ straight line. You know, this is not drawing in scale, but that's kind of the uh, pro proof steps, all right? So, I think this is an interesting problem. Yeah, so once you know the uh, power of a point with respect to a circle, then it's actually uh, not a difficult problem. But if you don't, you, you may uh, find it hard. So anyway, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.